and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a swatch and review slash first impression. I don't like that phrase first impressions because it seems like everybody says first impressions. But we are going to do a uh, swatch and review for the Makeup Revolution Unicorns Unite palette. Also, we have the Makeup Revolution Vivid Highlighter, Baked Highlighter. I do not have any highlight on right now, so we're going to test this out right now on my cheeks. Well, not right now, but whatever. <laughs> and also, we are going to swatch one of the Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquers. So, um... Yeah, this is a new brand to me. I decided I wanted to give them a shot and see what they got. So let's get started. Okay. Let me scoot you guys just a little closer. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not feeling all that great. Treatment is tomorrow and I'm a little... Eh. So, all right. We're going to do... I'm going to do the best I can to get through this. So... Like I said, we are going to review the Makeup Revolution Unicorns Unite palette. This is the carton that it comes in, and this is the actual palette. I like the sleekness of it with the gold and the black. Um, and I used it to make my look today. I also kind of cheated a little bit because I used my BH Cosmetics uh, Glitter Liner and Gem. And I used a little bit of the NYX Roll-On Shimmer and Seafoam Green because it wasn't giving me that pop that I wanted. It wasn't the palette. It was just me. <laughs> I was being a little picky. But yeah, this is the eye look I made today. Okay. And my lip color is courtesy of the Milani Amore Metallics Lip Creams in Matte About You. And I also put a, what is this? Oh, guys, I'm losing it. And I also put a layer of sec, uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Super Peach. Super peach, super peach, it's super peachy, yow. That was corny. <laughs> All right, so I also bought a highlighter, one of their lip lacquers, and a blush. But the blush came in broken. Ah! So Ulta is sending that back out. But as you see, I don't have any kind of highlighter on so we're gonna test this out on camera but first I want to talk about the palette um this is what the inside looks like I get the thing open this is what the inside looks like and it comes with one of these things I normally don't use these um so I might just either give it to Madison or hawk it in the trash but this is what it looks like. Hey guys, you're being recorded on the phone. <laughs> you have, there's 18 colors, I believe. Yes, 18 colors. And you are, guys are gonna flip over the price. But of course I tell you the price is later. Um, you have 12 shimmer, shimmer shades, which are all right here. And then you have six matte shades, which are right here. And I'm going to tell you, this little bad boy surprised me when I did my look today. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and get to swatching. Let's go ahead and do the matte colors first. And as you guys know, I do it on my hand. There's no primer on my hands at all whatsoever. My ears have been bothering me too. I hope I'm not getting that sick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this row right here of the mats. They are really, really soft. I am like really impressed. And I didn't want to use that phrase first impressions because it seems like everybody uses that word first impressions. Okay, here are the first four. 
which are the lightest of the mattes. I do have really, I used this color as my transition color and it is awesome. It is buildable. Watch, I'm going to build up on it. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation though. For the cost that it is, you guys are going to flip. So we say we have a white, we have a cream, we have a light brown and a more darker brown. And now I'm going to swatch the last two matte shades, which are pink and a black. God, these are so soft. Get my finger in there. <laughs> Look at that. Let me get some more of the pink because I did use that on my lower lash line. There we go. Look at that black though. It's a little fallout. But there's the pink and there's the black. I actually did use the pink on my lower lash line. If you guys can tell. <laughs> So those are all the mattes. Now we're going to get into some shimmers. Shimmers. All right. I am going to. First, I'm going to pick my nail because it just broke. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into this row, the first row, and then we'll go down to the bottom row. So I'll do the first four. That's what they look like. I, did, I forgot to show you guys what they look like on my finger for the mats. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. Look at the shimmer. This color right here. Yes. That is gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to go with the next four. I have this one on my eyes. Hold on one second. Let's just go ahead and get it swatched. This is what it looks like. I have this color right here on my lid. As you can see, this color is on my lid. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. That looks so gorgeous. All right, and the last four. I have this color in my crease and I have this color on the end of my eye or the corner of the outer corner of my eye. <laughs> Can't talk <laughs> this corner, this on the outer corner. And this is on my, on my, um, crease. It's got a lot of fallout. These are the four, I would say, excuse me, the more darker shades of the palette. Look at that. That is like stupid gorgeous right here. Stupid gorgeous. And look at that shimmer. Those look so pretty. I don't know how Makeup Revolution did it. And for the price that that is. All right. So to break it down. 
you have, let's see, you can get many looks out of this. You have about one, two, three, three purple shades, two black shades, two pink shades, um, two brown shades, two cream shades, two white shades, a copper shade, uh, kind of like, I would say more like a burnt orange and a copper shade, a green shade, a teal shade, uh, a blue shade. It's just, oh my God, you have so many colors in this palette. And I absolutely love it. So I'm going to get this off my hand. And like I said, the packaging is awesome. I love the sleekness of the black and the gold. And let's see here. The price of this little bad boy. Let's get it put back in its carton. And you can get this at Ulta. I don't think Sephora sells them, but you can get it at Ulta. This little bad boy retails for $10. Come on, that is like super cheap. And for the pigmentation that you got out of it, it is a great, great buy. This is, I approve of this one. $10, people. All right. The blush that I bought um, that came in broken was $5. One second. Okay, sorry. I had to fix my lipstick for some reason as I was talking. It just kept going up and up and up. <laughs> so I had to fix my lipstick. Um, the blush I bought, as I was saying, oh, yeah, the blush I bought comes in three colors. You can get it at Ulta, and they're only $5 a piece. Now, let's talk about this little bad boy. This is the Vivid Baked Highlighter, and it's in Golden Lights. I like how it says for adult use only. <laughs> That's good. All right. First, I'm going to swatch it on my hand. That's what the pan looks like. Got that nice swirl going on. It looks like in my finger. <gasps> oh my God. Are you kidding me for how much this is? And this is a big amount. You get 0.26 ounces in this. That is amazing. All right, let's try it on the cheeks. I'm gonna get my handy dandy highlighter brush. We're gonna swirl this bad boy around. Did y'all see that? Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh my God, look at that. Let's put some on my nose. Oh my God, I am blinding. Yes, I do kind of poke up. I am blind. Look at this. You guys. And you guys are going to flip when you hear how much is this. Let's compare this to another highlighter of mine. All right, let's see. Okay, this is 7.5 grams, okay? They have three colors, um, 0.26 ounces. This is Becca's uh, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, which is 8 grams, 0.28 ounces. So it's just like a little bit more than this one. This one's like... I think $22, $29. This little bad boy right here was $6. $6. And look at that. $6. That is like, oh my God, blow my mind. And it's so good. Oh my God, I can't stop looking at my highlight. $6, people. $6. 
And lastly, I want to talk about their Salvation Velvet Liqueur. This color is in Vamp. And it is a dark purple color, which I don't know why I bought another dark purple color. I don't know, but I can't stop looking at this. But, um, I don't know why I bought another dark. It does have a chemical smell. It doesn't really have, like, a smell to it, but that chemical smell. Oh. Uh, I think it looks more brown than purple. It does have a purple tint to it, but it looks more brown than purple what it looks like let's see what let's um consult with the ipad and see what the description says one second because i thought it was like a deep purple but it's looking very brownish to me one second okay and i'm back you guys i am not liking this lip color at all i never had this much problem with my chromatic addict or my um materialistic but for some reason this one just wants to keep bleeding. Okay. The highlighters. Let's see if they put the colors on here. Like I said, they come in three colors. This one's golden light. They have one that's called radiant light. And then they have one that's called peach light. Um... Peach Lights is currently out of stock on the website, but you might be able to find it in the store. I bought all these in, um, online, but I do know that you can get these in the store. All right, let's go to their lip lacquers. All right, lip lacquers. Let's see what kind of color this is. Cause to me, it does look like a dark purple. It looks like a dark purple, but it looks like there's brown in it. It's dried down too. We'll do the smearing test in a minute. Oh, there it is right there. It's called the Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer. All right. Let's see. Okay. Vamp is a deep purple brown for a risque rockers craving some lippy drama. So it is a purple brown. That's what I figured. Um... But it's gorgeous. I just can't believe I bought another, you know, dark purple. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to try this. Alright, let's try the budge proof test. Mm, it does budge a little bit. As I can see it budging right here. And there's a little bit of, fall, of transfer on my finger. Not too much though. But, ugh. And this... It's five dollars. Five dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. Ten dollars, six dollars, five dollars. I greatly approve of. I enjoy all three of these. I think people are sleeping on Makeup Revolution. And like I said today, I did use a tad bit of the NYX Roll-On Shimmer NC Foam Green, as you can see right here in the corner of my eye. I did it just to give it a little bit of, give my crease a little pop. Um, and I did put it in the inner corners of my eye too as well. But, um, so I did use this. So you might want to grab this too because this is under $5. But yeah, I think people are sleeping on this, especially this highlighter. I cannot get over this. This is star of the show six dollars people six dollars all right <laughs> that's all that i have for you today um i have more products coming in and mind you none of my videos are sponsored i buy all my products myself anything that i don't like i either normally give to my niece madison or i donate it to a local women's shelter um so i know that my products are not go my money's not going to waste um 
But yeah, none of my videos are sponsored at all. I got more products coming in that I bought. I am so excited. Um, you guys are just going to have to wait. So as always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Garrett, on Snapchat as melissaleah1223, and on Instagram as melissaleahgarrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages too. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see an account with my face and this gorgeous smile, hopefully not with this lipstick, report it because it's fake. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye! Really plain? Really? <sighs> okay. My lipstick doesn't want... To stop bleeding. Uh, oh, this ain't good. And when you, the look on your face when you just remember that sexy motherfucker has a tingling inside of it. <laughs> God, this highlighter's on point. It does kind of look like a badge, though.